SCS2 2022 has enhanced the controls for picket spacing with more automation to make the spacing equal and architecturally pleasing, as well as more user controls. We have added in a scroll bar to make it easier to see and navigate all of the options. Quite a few fields have been added to control the picket spacing. These defaults can be found in your project settings, job, plugin defaults, member plugin defaults, and then handrail. When it comes to pickets, the real concern is the spacing between the post and the picket faces, making sure that that four inch diameter sphere can't fit between the posts and that the picket spacing is even. We've updated the max spacing field to be max clearance with the default value of three and three quarter inch. You can easily override this or change the default in your settings. I have the picket spacing set to equal spacing for this example. When I measure this, it will be equal decimal spacing for face-to-face -face dimension. This will cause the face-to-face -face dimension to be a bust since the slight difference will add up, so we have added in a rounding option. If I round up to a sixteenth of an inch and take the first space, the next space, and the last space dimension, As you can see, we split the first and last dimension to make this all as close as possible and have the face-to-face -face add up. Boosting the maximum spacing to 4 inches will give us an even better results for equal spacing and will have everything add up exactly. We found that you can get less pickets in most cases and maximize the spacing. Taking a look at the detail, we can see the face-to-face -face clearance dimension are exactly to the nearest sixteenth of an inch. If we had a dimension that was not to a sixteenth of an inch, there would be a plus or minus applied, as you can see in the snapshot. You can see the spacing data in the secondary dimension. This can be controlled in my plugin setup, the template detailing, and then picket spacing dimension string in primary dimension field, if you don't want that on the secondary line. Next, let's say I want to have control over the first and last picket clearance spacing. For this example, I'll start with the intermediate posts. I can change from equal spacing to setback from point for both, and I'll just leave it at 6 inches for now. This will set back from either side of my post face. To control the distance on the ends, you'll want to come into the main section in the picket spacing and change both the left and right end spacing condition to set back from point. Lastly for the flat rail, I will set the picket spacing for my left and right end to first picket for my right return. I'll do 6 inches for my right end to first picket, and then I will add in 1 inch for the left end to first picket. Now if I want to come into my picket spacing, I can do left end to first and right end to first, and that will change it from the intermediate post. Moving on to the handrail and the stairs, in the prior versions, the input spacing for the pickets was applied along the slope. This has now been changed to match the post with a clearance value being applied the horizontal face to face. If I were to move the posts on the top and bottom, SDS2 will automatically recalculate and adjust the picket spacing. The top of support distance will automatically be updated as the posts move. On the edit screen, we have added in a section length for plan and actual to the main and return tabs. Looking at the detail with the improved detailing templates, we have added in reference dimensions on different layers to easily turn them off if they're not needed. If a top view is needed on a stair rail and it's not provided, we can use one of Bruce Vaughn's parametrics found in the macro examples view top flange. I'll select the stair rail, I'm 
When I open up the stair rail and the top view exists on the rail, the pickets are automatically dimensioned on the top view. Now I can add this parametric to my top view for my flat rail as well. The pickets will not automatically be dimensioned for the flat rail, so I will need to go into my setup and turn on picket dimensions for flat rails on the top view. Now when I go to look at my detail, I now have the top view with the pickets dimensioned.